Compared to the billions of stars in the universe, the Sun passes unnoticed. However, for Earth and other planets around it, the Sun is a powerful focal point, its light gives life, heat, and holds the solar system together. The Sun is a huge star. With a diameter of 1.4 million kilometers, it could host 109 planets on its surface. If it were hollow, more than a million Earths could live inside it, but it isn't. It is filled with hot gases that make up more than 99.8% of the total mass of the solar system. The temperature reaches 5,500 degrees Celsius at the surface and more than 15.5 million degrees Celsius in the core. In the core of the Sun, fusion reactions take place in which hydrogen is transformed into helium, which generates energy. Small particles of light called photons carry this energy through the radiant zone to the uppermost layer of the Sun's interior. There, the movement of boiling gases brings energy to the surface. This journey takes more than a million years. The Sun's surface, or atmosphere, is divided into three regions, the photosphere, the chromosphere, and the solar corona. The photosphere is the visible surface of the Sun and the lowest layer of the atmosphere. Above the photosphere are the chromosphere and corona, which also emit visible light but can only be seen during solar eclipses, when the moon passes between Earth and the Sun. The Cycles of the Sun Although much remains to be studied in this regard, science knows that the Sun's magnetic field increases and decreases for periods, that is. It increases to a maximum and then weakens again until it reaches a minimum in its activity. When the level of magnetism approaches its maximum, it results in a large number of solar flares, ejecta and spots on its surface. After this maximum, that activity decreases for another period until it increases again, and so on. Until now, we knew that the Sun's magnetic activity oscillates between its minimums and maximums throughout an 11-year cycle. However, even these cycles could be changing their patterns or overlapping, and the scientific community finds no consensus on this. Until now, it was known that the Sun alternates between stormy and calmer periods every 11 years or so. These cycles are related to their magnetic activity and from Earth we study them through spots and solar flares. For more than a decade, scientists have been talking about a change in solar activity that could mean that the great star was approaching torpor, a period of low activity called solar minimum. This period has been compared to the most marked solar minimum in history, which occurred between 1645 and 1715 and is known as the Maunder Minimum. These 70 years were dubbed the Little Ice Age in Europe, the coldest stage ever known. The fact that the solar cycle may be changing offers science an unparalleled opportunity to unravel the mysteries of the Sun. However, scientists constantly monitor the sun's activity because its flares can wreak havoc on our electrical grids and communication systems. The technology on which our modern civilization is based. Solar Wind and Flare In addition to light, the sun radiates heat and a constant stream of charged particles known as the solar wind. The wind blows at about 450 kilometers per second through the solar system. From time to time, some particles can explode in a solar flare, which can knock out satellite communications and power to Earth. The flares usually come from the activity of sunspots, cool regions of the photosphere related to the magnetic field inside the sun. Like many other sources of energy, the sun is not eternal. It is already 4.5 billion years old and has used almost half the hydrogen in its core, so it will run out in about 5 billion years, with helium becoming its main fuel. The sun will grow larger, reaching almost 100 times its current size.
after absorbing Earth and other planets. It will burn as a red giant for another billion years, and then explode into a white dwarf the size of planet Earth.